everyone let me check my teeth welcome to another video today is monday morning i'm on my third cup of tea because apparently i need a lot to get going this morning i just thought i would film a day in the life video normally i am dressed in about three layers of fleece tracksuit bottoms and three pairs of socks and today i've decided to put on some actual clothing my sister sent me loads of her clothes she's doing a big clear out she can't really go to the charity shops to donate them so she donated them to me and i also have a bright lipstick on and i was going to go a step further and put on my Sophie Page earrings. So today is like any other day for the past three months. I'm actually over the halfway mark on a client project which is due in the beginning of April and involves painting five illustrations a day every day without fail. About 220 or 230 illustrations in total. So I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get further into the video, there is a sponsor for this video, which I'm really happy about. It's my long-term sponsor, Skillshare. If you watch a lot of my videos, you already know who Skillshare are. But if this is one of the first videos of mine that you've seen, you've never heard of Skillshare before. It's an online learning community for creative people. So I'm assuming that it's gonna be something that a lot of you will be interested in. I've been taking the classes for over a year now and I really like them. I found some really amazing ones. So if you go back and watch previous videos, I always do a recommendation for a class that I really enjoyed. The one that I wanted to recommend to you today is Illustrated Journaling and it's by Dylan Mazwinski. She is an illustrator and this class has been recommended to me a lot but I've never really found that I was in the right headspace to actually take it. Recently I've just been dreaming of the second half of my year this year which is going to be a chance for me to really focus on my own artwork because I've been spending many years now focusing on client work. This journaling class is really great. It contains 14 days of prompts, so it's one that you can return to on a daily basis. It's just about creating time for yourself to do pressure-free art making. Most classes on Skillshare contain a combination of video lessons and class projects. It can be kind of like a gift that keeps on giving. You can go back to the class prompts and projects and have something to work on once the class is over. Members get unlimited access to thousands of classes with hands-on projects and also feedback from a community of millions. It's an online space that's being curated especially for learning which means there are no adverts. One of the best things about it I think is its value for money. It works out at less than $10 a month for an annual subscription which I think is really amazing because there are just so many classes on there on of such a wide variety of subject matter and it seems to be getting wider. So if you are interested in joining Skillshare the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium to explore your creativity. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Something very exciting is that I have a new desk easel. This is actually a gift from the brand. This is my first time using it. I've just turned my paper over so you don't see the artwork that I'm working on. But yeah, I got it out of its box last night and the thing that I really like about it is that it has a drawer underneath. So I'm keeping all of my paints in here look how gorgeous that looks i've never been so organized with my art supplies before and you can see at the back that it's adjustable so you can have it up as high or as low as you like i like to have it on the lower setting um i've just kept my paint palette around the back i have a standing desk that's really good for my lower back i find to be standing more often but i've been having a lot of shoulder and neck pain from like just crunching my neck over um, in order to paint these quite detailed and small illustrations. I'm just gonna watch some quite relaxing YouTube content, I think. I'm looking forward to this. Something that has really been helping me over these cold months of non-stop painting is wearing these fingerless gloves or wrist warmers. My mum got me these for Christmas and they're made out of recycled cashmere jumpers apparently. Oh my god, they help so much. I still get really cold fingertips but um, it's just such a comfort to wear these. So any fellow painters, illustrators, I really recommend these. I have just finished a couple of uh, paintings so I'm gonna have some lunch. It's a really great lunch situation that I've got going on today. It's just leftovers. Yeah. Some roasted beetroot, I've got some hummus, I've got some green beans and toasted hazelnuts and then I've got some roasted root vegetables, parsley and couscous. This is gonna be a great lunch. <laughs> Go 
went in is cuddling his big brother's paintbrush tail. Do you mind? Ooh, this is what I look like after painting all day um, and now it's about 5 p.m. so I'm gonna stop. I feel like this time of day I have to move so slowly around the studio because as soon as I do anything the dogs are like pouncing on me because they really want their dinner. He's squeezing. He's squeezing. He's squeezing. Quentin, I heard that you might be a bit hungry. Is that right? These are Midge's new shoes. <laughs> Midge, you just wait. I'm just going to put your little shoes in on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's disgusting. Can we put the other shoe on? You don't mind wearing it? You being brave? Wait there then. We just got back from our walk and <laughs> I just ate some fudge in the kitchen and I was thinking about bringing more biscuits upstairs but I didn't. I've just got my coffee. The walk wasn't great. I feel quite moody today. I think it might be the time in my cycle and uh, I don't like walking at this time in the evening uh, on my own because there's often a lot of people driving around and then I just feel like everyone's looking at me. I really have always hated walking out of a house and walking into a busy street. That's not exactly the situation here but don't like it. I like, um, if I'm going to leave the house I want to leave the house into wilderness. It's very noisy out there as well isn't it? So I close up. Yeah I'm just feeling a bit drained today. I thought I'd be more spunky and I never say that word. Um, I thought I'd be more lively and interesting and chatty. But as luck would have it, it's not what's happened today. I don't really feel like I want to say anything. I guess because life's kind of paused at the moment, hasn't it, for, for a lot of people. Uh, we're in the lockdown in the UK still, a very long lockdown. I'm trying to write more um, and I really love it. I really love just kind of working out my emotions and seeing what's at like the root of everything that I worry about. Um, speaking of worrying, I'm also reading this book called Letting Go. It's been on my bookshelf for ages. I think maybe I saw like Russell Brand was reading it one time and for some reason I have it. I don't remember buying it. Maybe Russell gifted it to me. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and I, I really like it. The Pathway to Surrender. It's the next day. I'm having a green tea and half of a vegan bacon sandwich because we only had two slices of vegan bacon left. It's uh, about nine o'clock now and I'm ready to start my work. I always read the little uh, label on my tea. It says, appreciate yourself and honor your soul, which is nice. They always have, I've never read the same one twice. So much wisdom from one tea company. I didn't carry on filming yesterday after I had that lovely relaxing time. McCray came home from work and we made dinner. Watched halfway through the last episode of Can't Get You Out of My Head, which is a five part kind of like documentary series by the filmmaker Adam Curtis. And it's on the BBC, but I've seen that it's also on YouTube. So I will link it below if I can, because it's just so insanely good. Um, Adam Curtis is 
famous for doing quite surreal documentary series so he kind of mixes like his trademark is to mix quite upbeat um, poppy music with kind of quite surreal um, or even quite terrifying imagery and he uses a lot of vintage film footage footage from journalists on the front line of, of uh, wars and things it's just really it's really hard to explain but he's a very unique filmmaker and I think more people need to watch him this series has kind of been about uh, the rise of individualism um, and we're going we're, we're just being taken around the world and all of these events just link up in really obscure ways so we were in China a lot learning about the powers in China and how they came to be and uprisings and the British Empire and American politics the fall of the Soviet Union and just so much other stuff it's so it's such a complex web of events it's very interesting I feel like I want to watch this series twice just the way that he pulls the stories together and by the end of the episode you're like oh my god I can't believe he linked those things and I can't believe I've never seen that connection before I'm going to eat my bacon sandwich and then I'm going to get on with some painting such a long break from it. I am also fairly certain that I'll take an infinite break from any Zuckerberg platforms because uh, that has become kind of a political and privacy statement for me. Midway through my workday I'm finishing up on illustration number three so just two more to go. This is my stack of finished paintings so this stack is bigger which is always a good feeling but this stack is still very big. <laughs> uh, I feel like the last three big client projects that I've taken have been just such an endurance test. Um, obviously I worked on the Tree Vision game which was about 300 illustrations total and then after that I worked on a book towards the end of last year. Kind of a lot as well, it was 50 large A4 um, paintings, uh, very detailed, so 50 of those was a lot. I don't really feel like it's helping me to grow my... Uh, I, I think it's helping me grow my technical skills. An area that I would like to grow is in, in the expression of ideas. Um, in a piece, like bringing a piece together, composition, uh, I'm not thinking of the proper terminology, but just more about like the ideas and the um, execution of ideas is something that I'm really interested in improving. Your feet smell cheesy, very cheesy feet. Freak. I'm lonely, I'm on the stairs, coming down, bloody one of my slippers has fallen off, that scared me stiff. I thought that was ready, bloody thing, smoke if you're lonelier than ever. The modern ideas of love are about satisfying yourself, Yes. whereas the old idea of love was so. that you, live, you, you surrender yourself to someone else. You remember I love you, so you're quite safe. And what a politician of the future who's going to change the world will do is somehow allow people to still feel they're individuals, yet at the same time will say, if you come together, we can actually transform the world into something extraordinary. For tonight's dinner, I am making um, vegan katsu curry. I'm in a bit of a rush because Craig's on his way home and I want to have it ready when he gets back. But I think I can do it. I'm using this um, like block curry sauce, so it's quite easy. Pop this in the oven. These are really good. My nemesis is rice. I'm really not very good at cooking rice, but I'm going to try my hardest. Um, need to cut up this onion, fry it off, and then make the sauce.
this evening I've been planning out two mini gallery walls that are going to be up in this space. By the way, we've had renovations up here. Um, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know what this space used to look like and we've had um, work done on it. But um, I want to make a whole video showing the before and after and a little tour of everything when it's all finished. Um, so look out for that on my channel and that's why I haven't really been talking much about um, this room because I want to put it all in one video. These have gone a bit wonky now because we've been measuring them up but this is the rough idea for this wall here which is going to be my filming nook. So these pieces will be behind me when I'm filming. Um, I can't be bothered to bend down and straighten them up so <laughs> you'll have to imagine. Kind of pinks and greens, a couple of my pieces of work and um, some other artists and then this gorgeous portrait of Majin Quentin by a lovely girl called India. Um, but yeah, I'll talk more about the artists in the studio tour video that was that is going to come up soon. And then I've got a small mini gallery of Midge and Quentin portraits given to me by other people. This one is my newest one from Sarah Rees um, and this was a birthday present from my mum. A bit shoddily framed by me just now, I need to sort that out. Um, and then we've got this lovely one and this one which I think is going to go in this frame but with a uh, mount, is that what they're called? I don't know. And then over here is the last set of work. Um, again, a mix of my illustrations and other artists that I really like. Um, we've got like a mushroom, insect, sheep, um, animal kind of theme going on here. And these ones will go um, up here. So I want to get a variety of different styles of frames. I always think that looks quite nice. Like this print here, um, which is by Rita, Rita Gould, I think is her name. I'm really bad at remembering names, but I love this. It's really like sumptuous and deep and dark. And I think that would look really nice in a gilded frame. Got a fair few frames to buy. I think I'm gonna end this vlog now because it's about 9 p.m. and I'm getting tired, need to wind down a bit. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this two day studio vlog from me. Thanks for watching this far, if you made it this far. And uh, don't forget to like and leave me a comment. I look forward to reading them. And subscribe if you're new. And I will see you again soon for more videos. Bye.